When you do low carb right, binge eating is not in your life. Hey there, NJ, Route22.com, another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's the faint memory we have called binge eating. We're going to share some of our uh, wild memories of what binge eating was like before we understood for real what sugar and carbs does to our body. You may want to read the book Sugar Blues. It was written way before even high fructose corn syrup, but it'll help you understand sugar a little bit. Not as much as uh, the science end of it, but it's uh, more in the history of sugar and how really awful and evil it is. God, man, we would drink beer after beer after beer, 12 packs, sometimes more. I had hunger pangs all day long, every day of the year. Our go-to foods back in the day were pizza, bread, sandwiches, everything we ate was carb based. God, dips, sauces, burgers, fries, pizza, of course, ketchup, anything. It was just all sugar based. The texture had a lot to do with it too, like chips, crunchy chips and stuff like that. And we would sit there mindlessly eat them while we watched hours upon hours of television and sports and news and other garbage on TV, which we have long since given up. That's a, sort of like a aiding and abetting your eating. But uh, they're gone now. They're absolutely gone. Oh, by the way, drinks too. Any sugary drinks, uh, iced teas or whatever, sugar in your coffee and artificial sweeteners, The uh, I guess the senior versions of the artificial sweeteners like aspartame and all those others, they made us hungry. We know that for a fact they made us hungry, even though they had no calories. They made you hungry and you just made up uh, five times more of calories in the food that you ate because of those diet drinks. Today, it's just 100% low carb foods and we're never, ever, ever, ever hungry unless it's I've gone a day without eating and then you slowly get this a level of hunger, which is your body saying, please feed me fuel so I can keep your body strong and fit. We also try to do, you know, we generally follow like the 18-6 or 16-8 rule where you only have like a six or eight hour window of eating during the day. That's natural because we don't wake up hungry and oftentimes we just don't eat breakfast or we skip it entirely or I make breakfast with family. I don't, I try not to eat. I'll say, I'll just have a burger or so or two at dinner and a lot of times it automatically just becomes an OMAD, Z-O-M-A-D, one meal a day because it's just very easy when food isn't on your minds and your body isn't having this, uh, you know, roller coaster of uh, blood sugar levels. So that's it. Binge eating, not a problem. Have a good day. Click the bell and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.